Coming up on this week's Fever Film Room, Friday night is Breast Health Awareness Night. We're joined by Bria January and Jeanette Pullen Mavunga, who open up as to why this Friday night's game is especially important to them. And with Chicago in the Fieldhouse on Friday, Minnesota at Bankers Life Fieldhouse on Sunday, Pullen Mavunga and Breon January share their secrets to finishing the season strong as the Fever have in years past. All that and more is coming up right now. Hello and welcome into a special pink edition of the Fever Film Room. Pat Boylan joined by Jeanette Pullen and Breon January. We have uh, a couple of the shirts that they are showing off that you can purchase both on feverbasketball.com and by visiting Baker's Life Fieldhouse. Also, leading up to our Friday Breast Health Awareness Night game, you can go to feverbasketball.com and you can bid on the jerseys that they're going to wear. And by the way, you both are doing pretty well. Yeah. Second and third, but oh. you're both you're both chasing Candace, so uh, maybe a. That's not surprising. Yeah, extra, not at all. Not at extra all. plug or at all to go. This is a, an event that is is yearly. It's it's become a tradition of the Fever Breast Health Awareness Night. I know it has a little bit of extra special meaning to both of you. If you wouldn't mind uh, sharing your stories, Jeanette, we'll start with you. Yeah, so um, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer my junior year of high school. And, uh, you know, luckily they caught it early. She um, went and got checked out and kind of, they found it early, which was great. We're very thankful. Um, went through chemotherapy, all of that. Uh, so this is definitely a special game and initiative for me, um, just that she's a breast cancer survivor. Um, you know, I think, I don't think a lot of people see what those, breast cancer patients go through with the chemotherapy, um, just in general, mm -hmm. but um, having that, you know, having to see my mom go through that just really um, was tough. But, you know, she's one of the strongest people I know, been through so much, and uh, just very grateful to still have her around. And Bri, I know a couple family members on your end as well. Yes, I have two aunts who are survivors, and you know, just like Jeanette said, I was, you know, I was there and I saw them go through the process and, you know, early detection is key, you know, in their case, it, it was huge and it, it allowed them to make it through and um, still be with me today. But I also have a, my godmother caught it late and she passed away a few years ago and that was tough. And I mean, you see them go through the whole process of, you know, going in and, you know, hearing the news about the cancer and going through the treatments and fighting it and you know thinking it's gone and it coming back and just being part of that process and seeing like the toll it takes on everybody I mean on the person itself like it it is hard and then everybody around them who's just there to support them and everything I mean anything that's why anything I can do to raise money raise awareness for people that are going through it I want to do because I've seen it all yeah I think we all know somebody who's been affected I'm curious your position when you're on the floor in, in a game like this and all of a sudden everything is pink in your periphery I'm sure you're seeing a lot of pink it, it means different it means something different to everybody I know but what's it like actually being a player on the floor for Friday night well, I mean, I play for my aunts and my godmother, you know, like that's that's why I'm out there. And it's just a constant reminder of using our platform to help others. And so I'll, it's just extra motivation when I step out there and I see all the pink. Yeah, definitely. I think we're so lucky to be in the position that we're in to be able to have our voice heard. And um, who knows? you know, when we'll be able to do things like this again after our career is over. So whatever initiative or whatever way we can raise awareness right now while we're still playing um, is just, you know, extra special. And certainly an important cause you can help support on Friday by being here visiting feverbasketball.com or visiting the Bankers Life box offices. Let's translate a little bit to uh, some more on the court. You, you watch you guys in practice, and one thing that I've noticed is Throughout the season, whether you're on a couple game winning streak or whether you've lost a few in a row, the spirits always seem to be fairly high. Are you happy, Bree, with where that is right now? Yeah, for sure. And uh, that's been a focus, just to kind of stay the course. You know, there's, there are going to be ups and downs throughout the course of a season, but you got to maintain focus, maintain your, that intensity, that, that same spirit that you're talking about and that togetherness every time you step on that court. And we got to fo focus on getting better every day. And I think we've done a great job of that. Jeanette, Erlena mentioned that you guys recently did an escape room. How was that? It was, uh, it was a lot of fun, first of yeah. all. Uh, tested our just 
teamwork, team building. That was kind of the whole point of why we right. wanted to do it. But we did the most difficult room there. Mm -hmm. uh, started off handcuffed together, chained together yeah. to, to a bench. bench. Yeah. <laughs> so Dokey. the first, yeah, I mean, the first thing was we had to get out of these handcuffs. Mm -hmm. um, and we did, but it was, it was a test for sure. And uh, it was just fun because we had to split up into the groups and search around the room and multiple rooms, but um, just kind of fun to get out of basketball, be able to just uh, do something or that we don't really have to even think about basketball. And it, yeah. it kind of takes some trust of everybody in the room, though. I've done one of these oh, yeah. before, and you need everybody pulling their weight a little bit. Oh, Definitely. yeah, for sure. We found out some talents that people had that we didn't even know about. You know, some people came up big for us and getting out of there. So it was it was, it was was a really good team bonding experience. Hopefully good yeah. for confidence here coming up to Friday. You guys play Chicago, a team you guys have beaten twice already this season. The Fever will go for their season sweep of, of the uh, sky on Friday. Does does beating them a couple of times help from a confidence standpoint coming into this one? Um, I think yes and no. Uh, they just made a trade, so mm -hmm. they've kind of they have a new face. They've lost a couple of faces, um, one that's been with the franchise for a while now. So it'll be a different look, um, and I mean we're gonna go into it preparing like we would any other game. We'll watch film from last game that we played them, see what we did well, uh, see what we needed to work on, and. Uh, hopefully learn from our mistakes and get another win. So many years for both of you, especially you, Bree, playing mm -hmm. Chicago meant taking on Pokey's team and Elena Deladon. Oh, yeah. And how different is that matchup in this season? Um, it's been very different. I mean, they, our coaching staff is, I mean, they have the full scouting report of their team. They right. coach them. They were in practice with them every day. So, you know, we have that insight on their players, and it helps us a ton. But, yeah, they have a different team and a different system. So it's it's been a little, you know, it's been a change in the matchup. But, you know, whenever we play Chicago, we want to go at them. And, you know, and so hopefully we get the sweep and uh, keep some momentum going into the games in the, for the rest of the season. They're different from a year ago, as you touched on. They're different from a week ago. They just made this trade. Uh, Tamara Young, Amani Boyette are gone. When you prepare for a team like them, mm -hmm. how different do they look, do they feel, as you guys get ready for your scout uh, on the game tomorrow without those two? Well, um, you know, without Amani, they're obviously down to post. Um, and, you know, they've just got a lot of players that don't have as much experience, um, you know, other than some of their starters. But it's just going to be kind of stick to our principles, play our defense, uh, follow our schemes that we want um, to – we just want to dictate. We want to dictate on defense and force them into uncomfortable situations, into doing things they don't want to do. You guys have been on Fever teams over the last handful of years. They always seem to finish strong. What about the end of seasons has worked so well in years past, and, and what can you try to bring back to replicate those results? Well, I think it's just the hard work paying off. You know, we, like you said, we stay consistent, and we come into work every day. We focus on getting better, and I think that when we get to the end of the season, it's all of that hard work throughout the season just kind of coming together and you see you see the final product on the court and hopefully you know we've worked through a lot of things we've had to work through a ton this season with new systems new people all of that and you know just kind of getting used to everything so i think all that hard work putting in and getting used to all that and finding our flow hopefully we can find that heading out to the end of the season does finding that Jeanette, in years previous help with confidence as we hit the stretch here this year yeah um kind of like what brie was saying i think we never, we try to never get too low <laughs> um, if, if things aren't going our way. And knowing that we have had rough starts or rough parts of our seasons in the past, and we've always continued to stay with things and trust in the process, um, definitely helps us just hopefully finish this season strong. Fever will try to finish the season strong Friday against Chicago, then back here Sunday against the Minnesota Lynx, feverbasketball.com slash tickets is how you can be here. The Banker's Life box office. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. First and foremost, good luck. And before we let you go, we want to give the fans a little treat on what they're going to get on Friday. So if you look over here, if you wouldn't mind grabbing these for me, you guys can maybe test these out. Give the fans. Oh, <laughs> this works better, this works better when it's, it works better when it's dark. But if you hit them together, they're actually going to light up. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. yeah.
Oh, these are cool. Oh, wrong way. Wait, yeah. Oh, those are cool. Friday night yes. is Breast Health Awareness Night, feverbasketball.com. These two would love to see you here. Be there.